What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. I am Mike Dolce, your host, here to bring you the most actionable, honest, evidence-based information to dramatically improve your life. Today, we are going to be talking about optimal times to train an individual muscle. A lot of people have questions. They don't know if they're training often enough or are they training too often and overtraining their muscle. Either way, that's a bad thing. I'm going to explain it in a few minutes right here. I appreciate you being here. If you have not yet, consider subscribing to this channel. Give the video a thumbs up. By the end, if I've taught you something interesting and feel free to leave any questions below. Many of these videos are created because you actually ask these questions. Now, how often should you be training a specific body part? Let's keep this to specific body parts with more of an emphasis on muscle growth. There is a biological, physiological process called muscle protein synthesis. I want to make this as simple as possible so you can understand in less than four minutes and get back in the gym and start making gains. So muscle protein synthesis is initiated as a result of strength training, of training a specific muscle, training a specific muscle with a few things that are, are creating the right environment. I'll explain that in a moment, but training a specific muscle initiates the process of muscle protein synthesis. This is essentially the rebuilding of new muscle tissue. Now, muscle protein synthesis is most active between a 12 and 48 hour period. That being said, ideally for maximum muscle growth, we want to be training a specific muscle every 48 hours or so. Now, keep in mind the totality of your training program and the, the use of muscles, even when they are ancillary to the primary movement being trained. Your hamstrings are being worked very hard, even while you're training your squats or leg pressing, thinking you're only training your quads. You're not. So you must have an awareness of that also. Now, when I spoke about creating the right anabolic state, if you will, to initiate muscle protein synthesis and to take full advantage of muscle protein synthesis in which we're training each given muscle every 48 hours or so, we must ensure we have ample amino acids available. This is where the whole BCAA BS came into the fitness marketing conversation. Leucine, isoleucine, and valine, they are the three branch chain amino acids. And many of the fitness marketers said that those three amino acids primarily responsible for muscle protein synthesis, but not in a vacuum, not by themselves. What am I saying here? I'm saying that you must have an ample supply of all 20 amino acids including and very specifically the branch chain amino acids of leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Now, having those in a branch chain formula really does nothing for you. Having those in a complete amino acid um, formula does everything for you. And where do we get that most? Where do we get that best? From whole foods, from high net nutrient whole food sources, chicken, steak, raw fish, eggs, and then different complementary proteins from the plant kingdom. Now, how do we do that? And this is the bonus, having four meals spread evenly throughout the day. What science has shown is consuming anywhere between 20 to 60 grams of protein is likely optimal, somewhere closer to 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal, eaten anywhere between three to five times per day. This is coming from all the science out there. All my um, lab coat friends will certainly nod their head and, and, and agree. Now with that, you simply need to eat about 40 grams about four times per day while training that individual muscle once every 48 hours or so for optimal muscle gains. I hope this video was helpful. I tried to be clear and concise and to the point, remember, bringing you the most actionable, honest, and evidence-based information to dramatically improve your life. Thank you guys for being here. Feel free to look at the links below. There's some cool stuff down there and some free stuff. 1,200 free articles, workouts, recipes at thedolcediet.com, as well as my one-on-one -on -one private coaching platform. Feel free to check that out. 
and leave questions again below. If you want me to answer anything that you have on your mind, I'm sure that there are thousands of other people just like you that have that same question. I appreciate you being here. And until next time, boom.